Hi, I'm Pat Snyder and I'm the chair of the Women in the Professions section at the Ohio State Bar Association. I'm gonna to talk today a little bit about work-life balance for lawyers. When you hear the term work-life balance, um, I think we tend to go, yikes, that's impossible. Why even try? Because it seems like as lawyers, the tendency is to think about balance like scales of justice. You have work on one side and you have personal life on the other. And trying to keep those two in perfect balance just doesn't seem to work very well. You have a lot of trial prep one week and the scales go down on the work side. You have family vacation on the other week, the scales go down on that side. So how do you keep things in balance? It seems impossible. As someone who's studied positive psychology, I'd like to look at this in a little different way. What we're really after here is building personal well-being and resilience. And a great way to do that that doesn't require things to be exactly measured is to get a good balance between our positive emotions and our negative emotions. The challenge for lawyers in doing that is that lawyers are working in a profession that by its very definition is win-loss. And the profession has always been rewarded and even benefits from negative thinking. Clients hire lawyers to tell them what could go wrong. And so lawyers are geared toward looking at those negative aspects of the situation. That becomes ingrained and uh, becomes kind of brain changing after a while, I think that it probably leads to the clinical depression rates that we find so high in the practice of law. So it becomes apparent, especially important in this field to find ways to create islands where we can build positive emotion to keep that in balance. What really is important about positive emotion? I mentioned that clients want to know what could go wrong in a situation but they also want to know how to solve problems. And positive emotion research has shown allows us to think more creatively and to, to take on different perspectives in a situation. Both of those attributes really enhance the ability to practice law well, and they also help build personal resilience. The cool thing about building positive emotion is that it doesn't always take a great deal of time. During the regular work day, there are ways that we can build positive emotion. For example, by finding out what our natural strengths are, those things that we just can't help but do. There are ways to do this, like the values in action test that you can find online, the VIA which can identify your natural strengths and you can use those just during the regular work day to help build positive emotion and get things in balance. I hope these tips on work-life balance were helpful. Be well.